This is Agenda TV. Sauti ya mwananchi. Neta nyamu mbogo sorry uchila yako. Uh, thank you Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, thank you for the opportunity uh, to add my voice to this concern. Mr. Speaker, uh, I am not necessarily defending the military people. I know that uh, they probably have inability to speak as freely as we do, but this matter is a very complex matter. As I speak in this house, Mr. Speaker, I have had about 12 people approach me that they have money. I should identify some officers who can take that money and recruit them. And I've thought about it and asked myself, how are such officers identifiable? These are uh, Kenyans who have approached me. Some of them are here in Nairobi. Others in, are in my county, Migori. And when I talked to them, I was quite sympathetic. So what I want to state are two things. It is possible and it is, uh, it is likely to be true that there are military officers who are receiving bribes uh, because the talk of bribe is out there. They are receiving bribes in order to recruit people. But it's also true that there are quite a number of brokers who are purporting to be having influence over the recruitment and are preying upon innocent and vulnerable young persons uh, purporting that uh, they could uh, help them get to the military. Uh, but uh, what is uh, more important is the image of the military and the likelihood of the kind of recruits that uh, we might have as a nation. So as we investigate this matter, I hope the committee that will look into this matter will propose a more transparent, a more understandable, and a more humane way of recruiting Kenyans who are looking for employment. The procedure, other than uh, talk or bribe that uh, is being bandied around here, is also very inhumane. The officers who are recruiting people are quite hostile. Uh, some of those people are physically abused. I think as a nation, we deserve better. We need to do better. I want to discourage Kenyans who are looking for leaders, uh, saying they have some money so that those leaders can look for people to bribe. And I want to ask young Kenyans to be firm, young Kenyans to believe uh, in merit, uh, and also the military people to know that their image, uh, their reputation is in tatters, and they must work on it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Leader of Minority, Senator Rengo. Um, Mr. Speaker, similarly, I uh, want to express my appreciation for the request for this statement. It is uh, an important statement. And uh, Abraham Lincoln one time described uh, uh, governance in a democratic system as being a government of the people by the people for the people. And one of the ways in which we can truly make sure that the republic uh, in, in the, in the um, uh, institution of government is really a government of the people is through enabling people to join uh, government institutions uh, to make sure that uh, a poor boy from a girl from a community who may be un uh, forgotten, uh, who may never have a chance to bring a member of parliament, a senator, or a member of the National Assembly to these august institutions, that uh, he has access to some of these very important institutions, in including, including the army. Uh, I, I know that there are communities like El Chamos, who have been fighting very hard uh, for uh, being recognized uh, in many ways, land rights and also representation. So in a way, one of the things that the military should do is that when they go out there to have a record that everybody in every county has a fair chance. There are people in this republic who can never really dream of getting a, a government job, making a simple application uh, in a government institution uh, to be a PS, uh, to, to be anything in this republic. 
but at least when this recruitment is being done, can offer himself at some location or centre in a ward or in a, in, a, in a constituency to be able to be part of this, of this republic. So th this is a very important question. And uh, the only thing, Mr. Speaker, which I'd, I'd request that in a matter of this nature, uh, probably there is need for compliance with um, standing order number 50, uh, uh, sub, uh, uh, paragraph 2, uh, because sometimes when you request for a statement and you're already making an answer, you're giving an answer to your own statement, then uh, the process becomes a little bit difficult. Uh, so uh, I think the clerks should help uh, because already we have formed the opinion and I don't disagree with that opinion. Uh, it would be futile to send this matter to a committee of the House when you have already formed an opinion. Uh, but the question and the request for it is validated, is proper, and it sh there should be the fullest inquiry into this matter. And I'm saying this, uh, Mr. Speaker, because I, I, I have known and have had experiences in this regard, which I may not give the details here. Uh, so it is important for, for the military and for the uh, disciplined forces to ensure that every Kenyan, however far flung that community is, has a fair chance to belong to this country called Kenya. Not just in the territory they live, but being part of it uh, and part of the institution of government. I thank you. Senator Mary Yane. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me a chance to also add my voice on this important statement. But, Mr. Speaker, allow me to condone with the family of uh, the late Senator Yusuf Haji because I was not here yesterday, and also condone with the county of Garissa. Senator Yusuf Haji served as a PC of Rivdi Valley for many, many years. And so we really feel as a country uh, for the loss of um, the senator. Uh, concerning this uh, particular statement by uh, Senator Lekina, Ledama, uh, it's it's really clear that there is a huge problem of unemployment in Kenya. And so whenever an opportunity uh, happens for any kind of, an employ of employment, sorry, quite a number of our youth run to look for an opportunity to serve in this country. It's true, so many of them have been cheated. I happened to have discussed with a certain parent yesterday who told me they've paid 300,000 to a certain officer. And um, after paying 300,000 and several of them paid it to that officer, that officer did not even turn to see them where they promised to meet. And so, this is just happening across the country. And so I just also want to urge the, the uh, ministry and also the, uh, the sector concern to make sure that the recruitment exercise is transparent. And as our um, senior uh, Senator Orengo just said, that they also try to see that there is um, the equal distribution of these um, slots to all the communities in all the counties so that um, uh, everyone gets a chance. And I also want to urge parents not to be rushing to pay people, pay cartels. It might not even be the uh, ministry recruiting officers. Maybe these are just thieves who have recruited themselves as uh, middlemen who can 
engage these young people. So I think it is high time that the Ministry of, uh, of Defense also try to track um, these uh, cartels who are taking money from innocent citizens. I thank you. Senator.